Hello royal folks! Before we move on to any further details, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, I mean what are you waiting for guys? Hit that subscribe button now, also please don't forget to press the bell icon. According to Paul Baldwin, Prince William has already been chosen as the protagonist and Prince Harry as the antagonist. And wow, did they both nail their roles this past weekend. The rift between Prince William and Prince Harry reaches comic book levels, reminiscent of the uneasy relationship between Thor and Loki, according to recent reports from the Coronation Weekend. As fans of the Avengers and the Marvel Universe franchise will know, Thor and Loki are both sons of Odin and members of the Asgardian royal family. However, Thor is portrayed as all good, while Loki is cast as the bad guy. It appears that Prince William has taken on the role of Thor in the royal family, while Prince Harry has become the Loki god of mischief. Prince William and his family were praised for their supporting roles during the weekend's coronation celebrations. He was seen with his radiant wife, Kate, by his side as he entered the abbey in full ceremonial dress and later having fun with his kids at the concert. He also delivered a brilliant speech in which he spoke about service and the queen, saying she would be a proud mother. However, some Twitter critics suggested that Prince William was deliberately slapping down his brother, Harry, with his repeated references to service, as Harry has recently distanced himself from his inheritance of service to Britain. But the point was missed, according to the writer of the report, who says that the wiser royals understand that they survive and thrive by being public servants. Prince Harry, on the other hand, appears to have lost his way. Despite two tours of Afghanistan and medals on his Diger suit on Saturday, he cut a tragic figure at the coronation weekend. He was seen two pews away from his brother without exchanging pleasantries and snubbed the family lunch. While it was Archie's fourth birthday, the report suggests that the best way to celebrate would have been in the bosom of his extended family at the party of all parties. Harry's recent actions, including the Oprah interview in his book, have left him ashamed, and he has brought nothing but a grasping grubbiness to the table, the report concludes. So what do you think about this news, guys? How has the royal family's image been affected by the recent controversies surrounding Harry and Meghan's interviews and books? Write down in the comments what you think and let me know. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates like this, subscribe and press the bell icon. As simple as that. Thank you so much.